Hi all, this is Shini Devakar and I am from the Cyber Kid YouTube channel. So for this session, I am going to tell you how can you create fully undetectable antivirus using uh, Windows operating system. So this particular uh, whatever I am going to show you will include some advanced commands like using Met Metasploit framework and uh, some other things like payloads etc. And if you have no idea of them, I I just simply uh, suggest you to just go to my previous videos and uh, get some idea about them. So I will keep a few useful descriptions, sorry, useful links in my description so you can go through them and you can come back here later if you have, if you haven't seen them right now. Fine. So let's go inside. So I'm going to use uh, a package called shelter to bypass antiviruses actually so it's very simple just go to google and search for shelter you can uh, find out the first page called shelter refining av evasion so click on it and download and I, ho I hope you know how to download right click on download button and then uh, you can download so the same download link i'll also keep in my description so you can download it faster even without searching so let's fine so let's just I already downloaded so let's just use it here it is shelter.zip first extract that so like that so what we are going to do now here is we are going to take a regular file a regular exe file and we are going to inject one payload into that regular file so that uh, this particular whatever regular file we have will be infected and uh, it will be undetectable also so what we need is a executable file so I hope you can download a lot of exe files right I also have one of them called one FTP server I have on my screen so what you just do is you just take this particular whatever executable file you want into the shelter fine keep it inside of the shelter folder so that we can easily access it fine so what we do now is uh, right click on the shelter.exe and run as administrator so like that it will load actually fine it's very easy just follow my uh, whatever syntax I'm telling you, you will be done with the session actually so it's asking what kind of operation mode you want so please select auto which means a give a and you hit enter and it is asking do you want to perform online version check so as I downloaded the latest version no need to perform version check so no and when it is asking PE target please give the file name the file name is our file name this file name actually our FTP server file name like that whatever file you take that file name you need to take like file name is ability server.exe like that you give the file name remember as the file is in inside of the shelter folder I'm directly giving file name if this file is anywhere else you need to give the complete path of the particular file fine so that's why make sure you have the file inside of the shelter so that no can no other kind of problems will come so once you have given the file name you hit enter and it will do some internal process just wait for that after some time it will ask you uh, what kind of payload you want to inject into the target so let's give it some time so that it can uh, do its job so meanwhile you just have a look at my channel uh, it contains a lot of around 50 plus videos are there about ethical hacking completely fine so different different uh, things actually different kind of like hacking windows machines linux machines and android phones wi-fi networks and a lot of other from basic still advanced everything is there you just go through them so that you can uh, have some knowledge on ethical hacking so as it is ready you can see it is asking that do you want to use a listed payload or any other custom payload so for this session I'm just using a listed payload 
So I'm selecting L for listed payloads. When I hit enter, it will ask me uh, whatever lists available, seven actually, which of them you want to use. Uh, I basically go with the first one because that is a stable one actually. So I'm selecting, I am giving one to select metapeter underscore reverse underscore TCP. So when I hit enter, it is asking where is the target, sorry, where is the attacker. So as you know already, uh, your metapeter reverse underscore TCP will be executed on the target machine and it will try to connect back to attacker. So you need to give L host, which means attacker IP address. So as I mentioned, if you are having doubts regarding this L host and L port, all this stuff, I kindly suggest you to go to my previous videos so that you can have some idea on them. So here I'm using Kali Linux as my attacker machine. Fine. So Kali Linux IP address is 103. Then L port, I'm taking 9898. You can take whatever port you like. You just hit enter. Like that, you need to give your uh, Kali Linux IP address and uh, port number. Then wait for some time. So it's done, you can see injection verified and you hit enter, your file is ready. Whatever file you have here now, ability server.exe is a infected backdoor file. Fine. So let's quickly scan this first, then we will try to check the infection. So I have a fire, sorry, antivirus called Windows Defender. Let's use it. It's actually disabled. Let me enable it. Windows Defender, on off Windows Defender. Fine. You don't have to worry about all this. You just have an antivirus, right? Scan with that, it's enough. Here I have scan with Windows Defender. Let's scan it and let's find out whether it is infected or not. Okay, start now. I'm starting the antivirus. So let's close it. Let's scan it again. Come on, scan with Windows Defender. As you can see, see, scan completed on one item and there are no threats were detected on your PC during the scan. See, uh, let me quickly turn off real time because I have a lot of other important malwares in my PC so I just have to secure them. Come on, okay, fine. So, let's scan it again. Scan with Windows Defender. See, no threats were detected during PC. So like that, we can make a bad file undetectable using your shelter. I have also tested this one in Cart, uh, sorry, Kaspersky antivirus and there also it is showing undetectable. Fine. Remaining antiviruses I, have, I haven't tried, but you can try on them. Fine. But I can surely tell this can bypass. Now let us try whether it is, it can hack PC or not. So let me start my Metasploit Framework Console quickly and I'm not repeating how to do that because there is another video. I will place link over here. You can see it if you want. So So if you like this video actually, you may also like my other videos, please go through them. And if you want to get uh, more interesting videos like this, please subscribe. 
so that you can get updates directly to your inbox whenever I upload a new one I will probably upload a lot of videos but depends on scheduling actually so I have just started my handler see now this is the FTP server right but if you click on it you just observe here you just click on it you can observe here it will automatically send a payload and we will connect to that within few seconds see sending stage and the target IP address is 101 my windows 7 IP address is 101 see we got meta beta session 1 opened now if you try to find out this info you can see that is a windows 10 operating system like me fine so PC name etc etc so if you want to see what files are available let's check out PWD I'm in the shelter when I type ls I can see all the files see fact.txt readme.txt like that you just see how what I can do now I will just type rm faq.txt I'm deleting this file which is this file actually fine so rm fact.txt you can see fact.txt gone similarly rm readme.txt readme.txt is gone so like that I can do a lot more stuff uh, which I'm not discussing here in the in this fudding video actually so as I mentioned if you want to get more videos like this please subscribe so that you can get updates whenever I upload a new video so thanks for watching this video happy hacking